Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of Innerport for CRM integration. Innerplex is a specialist in CRM integration, and Innerport is our flagship product, providing rapid, cost-effective, and powerful integration for Microsoft CRM, the Sage CRM Solutions family, which is, and for Goldmine from Front Range. Innerport has adapters for all of these CRM systems and can be used to pull data from most uh, repositories within your organization, such as accounting systems or ERP, through to Excel access and text files. You can also use it to pull data out of your CRM system, pass it through the Innerport engine for cleaning and reorganization, and put it back into the CRM system, and you can pull data from the CRM system out to external data repositories. We're now going to give you a brief demonstration of importing from an Excel spreadsheet into a Microsoft CRM 2011 system. I should emphasize that everything you see today can be applied to other CRM systems as well. The user interface stays the same. What you're seeing on the screen is what we call the profile editor. A profile is the package of instructions that connects to a source, organizes a set of data transformations, and then writes to the target. You can see that it's organized like a wizard. Across the top, we have a set of tabs that guide you through the process of creating the profile. Unlike a wizard, you can step back and forth through the tabs once the profile is complete to allow you to edit any uh, point. Over on the right hand side you can see that we have dynamic help. You'll notice as we move through the profile that that help changes as we move from tab to tab. Down the bottom you can see that we have a preview window and I'll show you that in a moment. The first step on the profile is to specify the source connector and the target connector. The source connector and the target connector are specified using a connector editor. The connector editor enables you to create connections to each of the different data repositories in your organization. For example, if I double click on the Microsoft CRM connector, you can see we come up with information specific to connecting to our particular Microsoft CRM system. Once we've specified the source connector and the target connector, we move on to tab two, which lets us specify the data coming out of that data source. We can click the drop down and select any table out of that data source. And when we do, Interport writes a very simple SQL select statement for us. When we click Update Preview down the bottom, you'll see that the preview pane updates with the first five rows out of that data source. We can go to the preview control and say we'd like to see the first 10 records, for example. Click Update Preview and scroll through those records, and you'll see that we've got, in fact, only nine records from this data source. In addition to writing SQL statements, which allows us to join tables together and apply where clauses, we can also write filter expressions. A filter expression is used to exclude records that have poor data, and they can be applied to data sources that uh, don't allow SQL. You can see here we have a filter expression that specifies if the company field contains the string DUP, then that record is going to be excluded. You can see down here that record nine has indeed been filtered because of record of filter rule number one. Notice that we're on the modified records tab. If we move to the source records tab and scroll down, you can see that record number nine is there. The difference between the source records tab and the modified records tab is that the source records tab shows us the raw incoming data. The modified records tab shows us what we have done to that data. Once we're happy with the data that we're getting out of the data source, we can move on to tabs three and four, which are concerned with transforming the data. Tab three allows us to add new fields to our incoming record, and we can give you a brief demonstration of how we do that. Click Add, type in Demo, come over here, and notice the three dots come up. If I click the three dots, it brings up the Interport Expression Editor. Over on the left-hand side, it shows us the incoming record with the field names and field values. On the right-hand side are a series of tabs. The Function tab shows us all of the specialized functions we have available in Interport sorted into categories to make them a little bit easier to find. If I expand the functions in a category, it shows me the functions within that category with one line description of what they can do for me. If I click the function, down the bottom it shows me the parameters for that function, whether they're required or not, what data type they are, and a brief description of what they do for me. And in the example field, it shows me an example of how to use the function. If I double click the function, it inserts the, get the function up in the expression bar. The example shows me that I need a name field to operate on, so I come over here, double click the name field, in import inserts pound sign name, which is the syntax for a field, and over here it's telling me that I need a bracket to balance the brackets of my expression, put that in, click test expression, and here's the result of applying that expression to this particular record. Click OK, click OK, 
click Update Preview and scroll across on the Modified Records tab. Scroll across and you can see that we have the demo field available to us over here. Some of the power of the Interport Data Transformation can be demonstrated by having a look, having a look at the phone number field. You can see here that the phone number field is a total mess. We've developed a, a small number of functions that extract out the phone information from there and you can see that we've been successful in extracting the phone number, the cell and the fax number out of those fields. Once we've finished with our adding fields, we move on to change data which allows us to do conditional tests on the data. For example, I'm saying if the first name field is blank, put the first name field with a space and the last name into the contact field. If the contact field is blank, then just use the last name and put that into the contact field. So we're able to do conditional testing on the data. And most importantly, we can click Update Preview and see the results of that conditional testing applied across multiple records across our incoming data set. Once we've done that, we're in a position to map the information into our target CRM system. As I said before, we're going into Microsoft CRM for this example. If I click the drop down here on the left hand side, you can see that I have all of the tables in the CRM system available to me, including any custom tables that I may have added. In the pane down here, I build up a, a suite of tables that I want to move into. I import data into one table, two tables, five tables, ten tables, as many tables as I want. For each table, I specify a suite of operations on it. So I'm operating on the account table at the moment, and the operations available to me range from create a new record always, just get the data in there, don't ask me any questions, just do it. Create a record if it doesn't exist, update an existing record, update existing or create new record, maybe just match on an existing record, and uh, go down and operate on some child records. One of the very important um, feature sets of Interport revolve around its matching capabilities and we have a suite of different matching techniques available to you. Standard matching, which I'll demonstrate here, enables you to specify a field or combination of fields on both the source record and the target record. So here, for example, we're operating on the company name and we're applying a function called normcomp to normalize that company name, which strips off noise words like Inc, Incorporated, LLC, Limited. Um, lower cases and also removes punctuation and trims white space. So it does a good job of normalizing the company name for us. When we're in this particular expression, we're appending the zip code as well. And importantly, we're doing the same thing on the target side. We're applying this to the account field, account field in the um, CRM system. Um, and this is one of the powers of the standard, standard matching capabilities. It enables us to do a complex set of expressions across a, um, across an entire table. Other matching capabilities we have, fuzzy matching enables us to do string similarity scoring where we can say, look at a range of similarities and decide if it's less than a particular boundary, it's not a match. If it's between the lower boundary and the upper boundary, it's a possible match. If it's above the upper boundary, it's a good match. And again, you can apply a full set of expressions or functions across these expressions to decide on the strings that you're going to do the similarity scoring on. The third option available to you is SQL matching, which enables us to build a SQL select statement and use that at runtime against the target database. SQL select statement has advantages as well. We have separate tutorials that talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each of these matching techniques, but the main takeaway here is that Interport gives you a portfolio of options for matching, which gives you a very wide range of possibilities and a way of handling almost any scenario that you can imagine. Once we've decided on the matching technique, we want to map information from our source to our target. Field Mapper dialog box shows us the incoming record and the target record. We're able to sort the fields in alphabetical order or schema order. And we're also able to say, show me all the fields, only the fields that are not mapped or only the fields that are mapped. We then build up the mapping in the grid down below. And on this grid, we're also able to do things like build up an expression to be mapped to a target field. So for example, here I'm saying I want to map the value active to the status code for the account, or I could say inactive. That's an example of import mapping a value to a, a status code in Microsoft CRM. Down here, I'm mapping the value primary to an address type code. So I'm saying this is the primary address for the contact. Once we've um, built up our mapping, we can move to 
pre and post expressions would enable us to build expressions that can be executed before the table is up updated or after the table is updated. The final tab in the wizard, job control, lets us set up various external or control type functions. For example, we can set up file logging that's going to create a log file of the run. We can specify transaction control of how target supports it. With Microsoft CRM, we're using the Web Services API, so we don't have transaction control enabled. Job chaining lets me specify that when job number one is completed, I want to kick off job number two. And record logging gives me the ability to write records, um, various different types of records, to a table in the source of the target. So for example, I can write records that have data or match errors, only records with data errors, records with match errors, records with no match, records with multiple match, or records that were skipped because of skip operation, or even all the records can be written. So I can get a complete order trail of what's been imported into the system. Once we've completed our profile, we click Save Run, and the profile gets saved away, and the Run dialog box comes up. The Run dialog box shows us the source connector, um, the target connector, the status line shows us where the, or what the current status of the run, and over on the right hand side we have statistics available that uh, show us how the run is doing. So the run's been completed, Eight rec nine records were ran, one record was filtered because of the filter rule, and no errors were recorded for the other eight records. Now that the record's been completed, the run has been completed, I can move across and have a look. Now that the job has been completed, we can move to having a look at the log file. The log file shows us the when the job was run, the profile that was run, what the source connector and target connector were. And in this particular case, we've logged each record that got created into the log file using a post table update expression. Down the bottom, you can see that we have statistics on the run, and we also have individual table statistics. Moving back to our profile, we now have the option to go to Print Preview. And what the Print Preview will do is bring up a formatted PDF of the, of the document for us. So if I zoom in quite a bit so you can see it, and expand it across, you can see that we've got a formatted listing of the of the complete profile including any notes that we've made against it we have the ability to save that profile as a pdf document or as some other image type format as well being able to save a pdf document like that gives us hard copy documentation of the of the job moving across to microsoft crm i'll just move to my sales and accounts and you can see here's the accounts that were imported by that job run. In summary, Interport provides for you code-free development environment. You saw that we were able to do extensive data transformations, very complex matching against the CRM system without writing a single line of code. We've got very powerful data transformation, and the preview window enables us to see the result of those transformations applied across thousands of records before we bring a byte of information into our target CRM system. The sophisticated suite of matching techniques lets us avoid duplicates and also identify the correct records in our system to update. And we have a complete suite of management tools with exception handling, logging, and scheduling. Surrounding Interport, Interplex provides support, obviously, by forums, email, phone, and remote access into your systems if required. We provide training that can be tailored to your particular requirements, and we can provide professional services or consultancy, which can range from on-demand for an hour to assist your team in a particularly troublesome issue, through to um, extensive work or a complete project where we just quote for doing the entire job for you. With Interport, you can achieve rapid, cost-effective solutions for integration, and most importantly, control of your integration project risk. Thank you very much for your time. You can contact us on the phone numbers that you can see on screen, or by email, info at or you can go to our website. Thanks again, and have a good day.